I'm joined by UTEP head football coach Dana Dino. Coach, not the result you really wanted on Saturday, 31-10 to 10 loss to Arizona. What did you kind of see from that game and what do you take away? Yeah, you know, again, I'm watching it just from a perspective of a football coach. And during the game, I'm telling myself, you know, we are really very close to, to playing toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. And it felt like that throughout the whole first half. I felt like if we make a play here or there, Rachel, we're right in the ballgame. You talk about kind of making a big play here or there, and you had that opportunity. Torres Burgess Jr. made that run, got you within the red zone, and then from there just couldn't get points on the board other than a field goal. If we kind of take a look back at that drive, going into it, what were you expecting and, and what were you trying to get out of it? So right here, that we, we saw a look uh, where they were blitzing us a little bit, so we checked to a run play uh, versus the blitz right here. and. Um, you know, they did a good job defensively. We did not do a great job offensively. As you can see, we, one of our players slipped right there on that play, which hurt the play. Right and so that kind of makes it hard for Dion Hankins to kind of get through there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was a little bit difficult right there where we got the slip. And then here, you know, we, we tried to, you know, uh, Gav went to a matchup with Kelly in the end zone right there that he liked. And that was, you know, good. Obviously trying to get to one of your better players, and we didn't make the play right there, but had an opportunity. I said that earlier, Rachel. I thought their corners were really outstanding, long, athletic players. And you could see right there, Kelly didn't have much of a chance there. The guys covered up. Yeah, if we kind of pause the video there, I mean, how hard is that for Kelly? I mean, it's one-on-one -on -one right there. Right. Was that the right option for Gavin to go to him? I think it's a good option to go to him, you know, because he likes Kelly one-on-one. -on -one because Kelly can jump so high, but I think their defender did a really good job of, of covering it, you know. It's third and nine right now after this play. What's the plan right now? You know, third and nine, we got a play called, and, and uh, right there we're going to it, and they jumped off sides. And so Gav took the dump down right here, and that's where we came up a little bit short on the fourth down. And so I had the option right there, either go for fourth and one, or go for third and five right there, right, and get get a chance. So I didn't want to put it all on the, because three points is still good, but in this situation it wasn't good enough. And right there we got, you know, got, Gavin got scrambled a little bit. And uh, our initial throw was to go to Tyron. And he was Because he was in motion yeah, coming back he was across. In motion, he was covered, and then he went back through the outlets right there and didn't get it. So had to settle for a field goal. But, but a very important drive in the game. I felt like our drive right after the turnover where he didn't score, and then this drive right here were ones we could have, if we would have taken advantage of, it. Again, that lead at half wouldn't have been, it would have been just a seven-point lead, and it's a little bit different of a ball game going into the second half. I guess that's the concern right now when you look at this team. Just the one touchdown from your first team in two games, ranked 125th overall in all of FBS Division One football in points per game. Right. How do you start putting points on the board? Yeah, that's the big thing. You know, again, like we've talked before, we're not trying to put a ton of points on, but we're trying to put one more on than our defense gives up. And so we got to be a lot more productive and a lot more efficient. So for us right now, it's just going to, you know, our game plan this week is go to the things that we do well and really execute the things we do well. Don't try to do too much, right? That's the thing right now. I think we're trying to be too expansive in what we do. Just stay to the basics and really uh, really execute the basics. So that's the game plan. Coach, right now, eight games <clears throat> left in the season, need five wins to become bowl eligible. <coughs> Do you look at this game against UNLV as a must-win game? Yeah, you know, you, we had talked about that earlier, and uh, I don't look at it as a must-win game. I look at it as a game that you sure don't want to fall three games below 500, because that's obviously our goal, is to win the conference championship and go to a bowl game. That's our goal, and all those goals are right here ahead of us. If we lose the game, the goals are still ahead of you, but they're a little bit more difficult. If you win it, you're a lot closer. So it's a very, very important ball game for us. UTEP looking to beat UNLV and move to two and three on the season. Head coach Dan Dimmel joining us. Coach, thanks again for taking some time. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it.